Did you meet Prince? I met him after I did the cover. I never met him beforehand. And we didn't really hit it off, but it's, that's best left in the past. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> the thing that's great about songs is in not knowing what they're about, you can project onto it yourself that it's about you somehow, you know what I mean? So if you tell people what you were thinking about or whatever, you, you take away the, their ability to project onto it, whatever it is about them, do you know what I mean? I, I was outspoken in one particular area, which was the area of child abuse. I don't, I wasn't really outspoken about any other areas or things or whatever, do you know what I mean? So now I kind of like a peaceful life nowadays, you know, or rather not get in trouble, you know? <laughs> What's it like being on stage? Again? Oh, it's great. I, I, been out, I've been touring for about 18 months or so on and off. I took a few years off to look after my kids and that. So. My eldest is 22, and then my next is 13, and my next is 5, and my next is 2. So, wow. Yeah, they don't like coming to gigs and that really? freaks them out. So, oh. Because yeah. they're so used to me just being their mum, you know what yeah. I mean? They're, they get freaked out when they see this other thing that you are, you know. Any of them musically inclined? Yeah, all of them, yeah. Very much so, yeah. Is that something you yeah. felt quite important to...? No, I don't push them into it at all. I know I've never pushed them into it. In fact, I'd probably discourage them, do you know what I mean? Yeah. About the reissue of the album, I do not want what I haven't got. Yeah. Tell me, why did you decide to do this now? Well, it was really the record company decided to do it. EMI decided to do it, because it's like 20 years, not quite 20 years, but almost 20 years since it came out, so... Yeah. What, what did you think when they said to you, we're going to do this? Was it something that you were fully behind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. It's been about five or six, even longer years that they've been planning it and talking about it. So, yeah, yeah, it's great. Did it take that long to convince you? No, 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 no. <laughs> it just took that long to put together for some reason. So. Yeah. And obviously it's such a, a famous album, we all, especially we know the song Nothing Compares to You, which right. features on it, that track. Right. Um, it, everyone does really associate with that track because it's such a massive yeah. hit for you, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about that? Do you ever think... I've actually done a lot more apart from that. Yeah, no, no, I'm quite happy with it. I, you know, I'm quite happy with it. Like, it's, it's a great song. You know, so. yeah, yeah, I mean, everyone, you know, you speak to most people and they absolutely love it. Yeah, that song. yeah. And I remember particularly watching it myself, like the video right. as well. Right. It's so simple, but yet such a strong image. Yeah, yeah. What was it like, yeah. you know, doing that video? What was it like recording that? Uh, grand. I mean, it, it was it, it. wasn't what we planned for the video. We had a whole other plan. So that just what happened happened accidentally, and we decided to keep it kind of. But it wasn't what we had planned at all. So. What was the plan originally? I can't really remember actually. Quite a long time. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Very long time ago. Yeah. And was your uh, Prince cover? Yeah. Yeah. Did you meet Prince? I met him after I did the cover. I never met him beforehand. Yeah. I met him after it came out. <clears throat> it was, uh, how did you get on? Did Am I right in saying you didn't hit it off? Oh, no, we didn't really hit it off, but it's, that's best left in the past. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's one you don't want yeah, to talk about. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> no, I also get the, the album as well. It seems like it's a very personal album to yeah. you in particular. Yeah. I mean, talk me through that. It seems like a very emotional, from, you know, stories that are very, very close to you. And right. By your own... Um, circumstances right. what's happened to you in your life right. so that's true yeah it was a very personal record yeah which I suppose all records are really I suppose that's that's what all songs are pretty personal really when you think about it but yeah. if you had to pick a track on the album that was your favorite if you could what, what would it be mm, give me give me a look at the you know, so I try and remember what songs are on the there album. Here we go. I know <laughs> see, it's been a long time there you go. let me see It'd probably be nothing compares. Really? Yeah, I mean, I like a, a lot of the other songs as well, but if I had to, if you said pick one, I'd, yeah. I'd pick that, yeah. Okay, but so. why, you know, why would you say that that was the track that appeals to you? Consider it was written by someone else. Yeah, but, it's mean, just such a, I just feel the song very strongly, do you know what I mean? I identify with it, which I'm sure loads of people do, do you know what I mean? And I when you were saying the words, or singing the words, nothing compares to you, who are you talking about? Oh, I guess that's a bit personal, isn't it? Is that something you, you don't know. ever share? Well, I think the know. thing thing that's great about songs is in not knowing what they're about, you can project onto it yourself that it's about you somehow, you know what I mean? So if you tell people what you were thinking about or whatever, you, you take away the, their ability to project onto it, whatever it is about them, do you know what I mean? So. Is that really important to you, to let the listener make up their mind? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, there's also a, a special bonus track yeah, it was bonus, a couple of bonus, bonus tracks, CD, yeah. Uh, bonus CD, which is yeah. three unheard, previously yeah, unheard yeah, tracks. Yeah, yeah, Now tell me about those. Uh, well, one is a cover I did of Gregory Isaac's song called Night Nurse, which is a fantastic song, obviously. And the other is a song I wrote, which never came out on an album. It's called My Special Child, but it came out as a um, benefit for Kurdish refugees during the Gulf War. So it never came out on an album or anything. 
and um, that's a great song, even if I say so myself. And, uh, and then the next one is this Etta James cover, a song called Damn Your Eyes, which I did in my camp phase. <laughs> so. And what, is there a John Lennon cover as well? Uh, do you know, there could be, I, have, I don't really know what's on the new disc or not, so there could well be, yeah. So in which case it's Mind Games, which is the song I did of his song. So, yeah. Yeah. Are there any um, other songs that you've heard throughout your career that you thought, oh, I'd like to, I'd like to actually do my own Oh yeah, Zillions, Zillions, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zillions. Give me some. What one, what's, well, what at the moment, the I'm, 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 lately I've got into this guy called John Tavener. He's a brilliant English, I think he's English, but he's a, a, he writes religious music. Mm -hmm. And he wrote a brilliant um, funeral song, believe it or not, um, based on scriptures from the uh, Catholic Church for the, pre the masses they do for the dead priests, real private kind of, you know, scriptures or whatever. So it's really nice, really beautifully done and everything. So I've got mad into him. So. Um, now, obviously, we know you for being quite controversial and outspoken, not just for your music. Do you ever feel that in the past that might have overshadowed your music or oh, yeah, been louder definitely. than your music? Oh, definitely. Definitely, yeah. And how do you feel about that? Do you feel that... It's yeah. life. It's life. Yeah. But the people will still always remember you for your music. That's, yeah, that's exactly. That's the point. Yeah. Your music has come through. All yeah, that. yeah. And that's obviously, you know, is that important to you? Uh, yeah, you know, but I just go with the flow, really. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing you can do about anything, you know. Yeah. But what about your, you know, your opinions now? Do you find that you're still as outspoken as you were? Like, what do you feel about the current political climate, say, or, or the recession that we're all going through at the moment? I don't know. I don't. I suppose I don't really. I, I was outspoken in one particular area, which was the area of child abuse. I don't. I wasn't really outspoken about any other areas or things or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So, but um, no, I kind of like a peaceful life nowadays. You know, I'd rather not get in trouble. You know. <laughs> Is that something, though, that you're still quite um, interested in and promoting the cause? You know, uh, well, I kind of did what I could do, really, do you know what I mean? Now I just want a peaceful life, you know, mm. like I say. So. Yeah, and you, obviously we, we spoke earlier, you said you've been out um, performing again. Yeah. And but the first time in London for quite a while, it was earlier this Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. So tell me, what, what's it like being on stage again? Uh, it's great. I, I've been out, I've uh, been touring for about 18 months or so on and off. I took a few years off to look after my kids and that. So. But it's been brilliant. It was tough at first going back to work at all. It was a bit weird because I just had babies and you name it. And it was a bit odd going from the kitchen to the stage kind of thing, you know. But I've got more used to it now, you know. So it's grand. It's nice. And what kind of, what are you performing live on stage? Are you doing new material? Yeah, so at the moment I'm doing an acoustic tour. So it's just me and a guitar player and a keyboard player. And it's lots of the old stuff and then lots of the stuff off the last record I did. And that, so. Hey, you mentioned earlier as well you're recording new material, working on Yeah, yeah, new writing and demoing, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what, yeah. what can we expect? Are you taking any particular direction? Or? Uh, no, not really, just whatever comes out. Yeah. And how's yeah. the writing process work for you? I mean, do you like to work alone? Is that how you work best? Or do you like well, I've been working with alone? a lot of other people this time because um, I'm quite limited. I can't really play an instrument well enough to be very, very free with it, do you know what I mean? So, so I'm quite limited as to what I can write on my own, you know. So I've been working a lot with other people where they're writing the music and then I'm writing the lyrics and melodies or whatever. So. Yeah. When you look back, because it, it's, it's been nearly 20 years since yeah. it was released, when you look back over those 20 years, what can you pick out as highlights for you, personal highlights? Jesus, to be zillions of them, probably far too many to, you know. But obviously the Nothing Compares to You thing was a big one, you know. Yeah. So. You say it so, oh, the Nothing Compares to You thing. Oh. <laughs> it was huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, is there anything that you dare I say it, regrets, or do you just see as, you know, what happens, happens, you can't change the past, what's your No, I don't, I don't regret anything about it, no. no. Yeah. It was no, great, no. like I had a great trip, you know. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Looking forward to the future. Yeah. So how, how, sure. how old are your kids now? Uh, my eldest is 22, and uh, my next is 13, and my next is 5, and my next is 2. So, wow. Yeah. So you're quite busy. You're yeah, busy very. Well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and how do they feel about um, well, the eldest, the eldest, mum back out on stage again? Oh, they don't mind. They don't mind as long as I don't bring them to any of the gigs or anything. They don't like coming to gigs, and that really? freaks them out. So. Oh. Yeah. Because oh, well, they're so used to me just being their mum. You know what yeah. I mean? They're, they get freaked out when they see this other thing that you are. You know. Yeah. So. Of course, it's restrained. So I kind of keep them out of it. Any of them musically inclined? Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Very much so, yeah. Is that something you yeah. felt quite important to...? No, I don't push them into it at all. I, no, I've never pushed them into it. In fact, I'd probably discourage them, do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
but they're they're all into it anyway. So. Yeah, exactly.